Hello, guys welcome to my YouTube channel Passion for Fashion. Five stitches every embroiderer should know. Stitches, making French knots remains a challenge. While it may take time to learn, it's worth the effort. Not only is this a common stitch to find in embroidery patterns, but it's also a good stitch to use when making a textured fill or other design elements. This stitch involves wrapping the needle to form a knot on the surface of the fabric. The trick to making French knots is to hold the working thread taut, but not too tight. Stem stitch is another basic stitch that's perfect for creating smooth outlines. It works well for both straight lines and curves, and despite its name, it isn't only for embroidering stems. Use a stem stitch on just about any lines in your stitching. Like so many stitches, you can adjust the width of stem stitching or use it for fill stitching. Just try to keep your stitch length consistent to create a beautiful result. If you want a bolder line of embroidery, then chain stitch is the stitch for you. Chain stitch forms a row of linked stitches that really stands out. One of the most classic embroidery stitches for filling an area is the basic satin stitch. Feather stitch is a linked stitch that creates open lines that almost look like they're moving. It's perfect for making frames and borders, and it works well layered or embellished with other stitches too. The look of feather stitch makes it good for stitching seaweed, foliage, feathers, or scales, and the variations make it possible to embroider a multitude of natural designs.